Welcome to Extraterrestrial Reality. Uh, I recently watched a new documentary from uh, filmmaker David Politis. Uh, he's a retired police officer, and he's written a number of books, a series of books uh, called Missing 411 about uh, basically people that just disappear out of thin air, and uh, a lot of them are just never found, no trace of them. Um, and uh, a lot of these cases happen in national parks. And uh, his first documentary was uh, Missing 411 uh, and uh, the movie. And then the second one was Missing 411, The Hunted. I've watched those movies before, too, and they're very good. And uh, now the third one, which was just released, and you could get it on streaming video uh, on places like Amazon or um, uh, Vudu. And it's called uh, Missing 411, The UFO Connection. And it talks about different cases uh, that have happened over the years uh, with uh, people who have disappeared, mostly hunters, basically, basically who have disappeared without a trace. Uh, and and it seems like uh, they're possibly taken away by UFOs. Uh, we re there's really uh, there's no trace of them whatsoever left. I mean, it's just amazing stuff and scary, very frightening. Uh, and it goes over a lot of different cases. And uh, one of the cases actually was what was involved a hunter who had disappeared uh, and and but was, was returned. And it was a case that happened in 1974 uh, to a guy named Carl Higdon. Uh, he was uh, an oil driller uh, and uh, he lived in Wyoming and he went hunting the one uh, afternoon in Medicine Bow National Park in Wyoming. And uh, was about forty miles away from his home, and he went hunting, and and he was, and he came upon like five elk, uh, just they were just motionless basically. So he he had his rifle, and he was he was about to shoot one of them, and when the bullet came out, it came out like in slow motion and just bounced off the bounced off some invisible force and just landed there didn't hit any of the elk and then they know he noticed uh like a, a strange be a six foot tall humanoid being looked very strange and also uh he saw a strange like see-through craft like shaped like a cube next thing you know he gets brought on board this 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 being basically takes him he can't move and he's on board this craft and he's looks it's, it seems like he's flying away from the earth he could see stars and he could see like it feel like he's flying away from the planet and the, and the elk are in the, in this craft with them and then this alien that 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 abducted him tells him well we can't use you and it turns out uh he had a vasectomy and uh that's pretty much why they they, they returned him and and then he was found later uh, there was a search ongoing by this point because he was he, he never returned home and they found him in his truck and he was like delirious he didn't know what was going on and uh and you have to wonder i mean would he have been gone forever if if, if he didn't have that vasectomy and, and then you have to wonder about some of these other other hunters that were featured in this documentary who just disappear without a trace and and uh, in places where there was ufo activity um very scary stuff uh there was uh, and it also talked about something that I had talked about in a previous podcast. Uh, there was that case in 1999 in the state of Washington where there was 14 witnesses. Uh, they were uh, working in a forest and they saw uh, some weird craft, some silent. It was a smallish looking craft, and a very strange shape. And it came, it came, it, it hovered over a, over some elk, and it went to this one lone elk, and it just the elk froze in place, and then this thing lifted it up off the ground and just flew away with it. Uh, and then it was investigated by uh, New Fork, the, uh, the the National UFO Reporting Center, and uh, they uh, and also the Mutual UFO Network. They investigated this. They talked with three of the witnesses to that elk that saw that elk getting carried away and and they actually ended up finding the body of of the elk a dead a dead carcass and uh it, i mean it just is that what's happening i mean oh, i mean i guess we have to wonder here i mean if these some of these people that go missing uh when there's a ufo that shows up i mean of course we talk about alien abduction a lot on this on here and also things like cattle mutilation and things like that uh, and then I guess sometimes there's some people who, you, there's also been cases, alleged cases of, of uh, human mutilation, uh, which uh, seem to be covered up pretty well uh, when they do happen. Uh, I know of a couple of cases, I've heard of a couple of cases, I've read about a couple of different cases with regard to that, like two or three different cases. Uh, so there's cases of that, but th these cases here involving these people, they just completely disappeared. And who knows what happened to them? 
Um, were they killed by the aliens? If it if it was aliens, were they killed? Were they mutilated like the cattle and they got rid of the bodies uh, somewhere? Uh, or were they taken away like this Carl Higdon in 1974 uh, in Wyoming? Like he was almost taken away from the planet all the way, you know, forever. I mean, you have to wonder if some of these guys are actually still alive somewhere maybe on another world somewhere you know how are they treated are, are they are, are they like a, a a specimen for these aliens or i mean how are they using them uh so I, who knows but again this documentary is fascinating uh another interesting thing about this documentary was there was a retired fbi agent uh his name was uh uh john de souza and he was talking about like he had, when he was uh with the fbi he there were different missing persons cases that were really strange and he actually believes that there are uh uh some sort of uh, uh beings out there or interdimensional beings that uh, that come into our reality and somehow just take people away just uh they disappear and they're never found again and it's always very strange circumstance he was talking about a little kid standing you know right next to their parents in the woods somewhere and then they see the kid five seconds later the kids disappeared gone forever and they, there's no trace of the kid or you know that there's things like that that have happened over the years uh so you have to wonder well what's going on here and wh wh where where are these uh people taken um, so I, I highly recommend this documentary. This guy has, he, he does a really, he did a really good job with it. So it's, it's highly recommended. And, uh, there's other cases too, like, uh, that one of the cases that wasn't mentioned in this one that was featured in, in, in his previous documentary, uh, missing 411, the hunted, there was a case, uh, involving, uh, some guy, this older gentleman who just totally disappeared, uh, off the face of the planet. Uh, this guy was uh, named, uh, hold on a second, Tom Messick. He, uh, this happened in New York in uh, November of 2015. He, uh, him and six other guys, they went out hunting. This guy was in his 80s now, and there was a couple other older guys there too that were in their 80s. Uh, and he was basically just, you know, not that far off this, off this road where all these guys were, uh, you know, they were all sitting in certain spots while these other, well, those, uh, these other guys were, went, uh, to a top of a hill where they were going to try to chase the deer toward them. Uh, they, they never saw, there was no animals in this area. There was not, there, they didn't even see any birds, but anyway, when it was time to go home, this guy was gone. He totally disappeared. And there was a gigantic search and they never, they didn't find a trace of him. And the only thing that, uh, happened uh the, the only thing that seemed strange during the whole thing one of the other hunters uh, uh heard a, a sound uh in the uh, like a, a, a sound that he never heard before while he was hunting it was it sounded like like almost like a trap going off and then uh and then later on when they went to leave this guy the one guy tom messick was gone and not a trace of him not as he had weapons on him that nothing was found nothing nothing at all and uh and the searches went on for a long time there and, and, and he's just disappeared into thin air. Now this case wasn't mentioned during this uh, documentary, uh, but I mean, during the new documentary about the UFO connection, but I think that that could have been something like that too. I mean, I mean, how could you just disappear into thin air like that? I mean, you're, you're around other people, you're in the woods. I mean, there, you think there would be some trace uh, there were no screams or hollers or anything else. I mean, it wasn't like he was really far away from anybody else. I mean, they would have heard him if he would have yelled. Uh, you know, he didn't fire any shots. I mean, I mean, he just and there was not a trace of him anywhere, uh, except for that once the strange noise that this uh, one of his buddies had heard. Uh, so, I mean, I wonder if if that could be one of these cases. But there's a lot of cases like this where people just go missing. And, you know, you have to wonder what happens if it, if it is involving aliens and they are whisked away. I mean, what are, are they, how are they used? I mean, are, are some of these people right now on another planet right now uh, you, you, being used for breeding purposes or something? Uh, or who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible thing to think about. But, I mean, if, if some of them could possibly still be alive somewhere, but they're not on this planet. Who knows? Uh, because there's no trace of them ever found and uh you know and if that case that the, the other case the carl higdon case from 1974 if that's if that really happened then then it's i guess it's very possible that uh you know 
some of these people could have been actually taken someplace else. But again, this documentary is it's another stellar documentary this year for on UFOs on on this subject. Of course, there's no you know, I, I, you know the the littlest. This is only a tiny spoiler, but I guess you know <laughs> there's no answer. Right. I mean, there's no answer. There's some spe- a lot of speculation, but there's really no answer. So that's the only you, you know when you get to the end of it, you 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 know there, there's you're, you all all you're left with is is speculation because there are, you know there's no trace of these people and uh, uh, you know I just found it fascinating. And actually, if you wanted to see what the other two two uh, films, you could actually watch them for free right now. I believe on YouTube. Yes. Uh, missing 411 the movie and then missing 411 the hunted they're actually available right now on youtube and i would uh, i'll leave the links for them uh, so you could check those out because they're, they're really interesting too um and there's some other in, in the actually in the second one in the hunt that there was uh there was another case there involving a group of guys that go into this uh, uh somewhere in the pacific northwest i believe they uh they go to the they they used to go to this one spot a lot in in the seventies and they would hear these really strange sounds at night. Uh, uh, that's another. Uh, there, there was so many different interesting 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 cases, but uh, yeah, this all these these movies are are very interesting and I highly recommend them, especially this the latest one. I think the I think this third one is is actually the best out of the bunch uh, as far as I'm concerned. But then again, I'm a little biased because this focuses more on UFOs. But uh, so if you're interested, I, I don't I believe it's it's going to be available for rent on December 27th. Right now, you have to buy it. I actually I bought it on Am- on Amazon, so I own it now, the streaming version. Uh, so if you want to see it, you have to pay for it. But yeah, again, if you get a chance, uh, and if you know, if you want to wait till the twenty seventh, or you know, if you're interested, I would highly, I highly recommend this. So if you're interested in UFOs and 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 disappear and people who disappear, uh, I mean, I guess you know what's interesting is the fact that <clears throat> you know people get abducted all the time, and yet um, it's, we don't never, I don't really talk about it. you know people who just absolutely vanish off the face of the earth. I mean, sometimes these abductions are more than just abductions they're you know permanent abductions and it's a really scary scary thought i mean if you're out in the woods and they're you know <laughs> and so one of these things shows up uh you're you could you're finished i mean you could be done you have no chance there was actually a, a, speaking of that movie there was another case where these two hunters were uh out in the out you know in the woods they were camping out hunting at night and this gigantic triangular shaped ufo showed up uh, and uh, they believed that if the one guy, if 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 it hadn't been just the two, if if the, if if only one of them had been there, uh, they believed that one of them might have been taken by this thing. But because there was t- uh, two people at the same time, one was in one was standing in one area, and another guy was in another area. And if if it would have just been one, that would uh, it would have been a perfect opportunity for this thing to steal that guy to kidnap one of them but because there was two of them i don't know i mean who knows but uh yeah you got to check this movie out it was it was fantastic